Last weekend, the world saw the theft of the century. <laughs> for technology. I kid you not, this sounds like something out of an action movie, but pretty much last weekend at the Consumer Electronics Show 2017, a lot of tech companies had gathered to show off their newest innovations in the field, whether it be a computer component, a new keyboard, a lot of different cases were shown off, but Razer was there, the company that's famous for Razer Blade Pro, their gaming laptop, they have a lot of peripherals and keyboards and stuff out that they're pretty well known for, they make a couple of controllers for the PlayStation 4 and maybe the Xbox One, they have a lot of different stuff going on, uh, but unlike a lot of their competitors, they brought consistent conceptual stuff that they had made up that wasn't necessarily going to be on the market the next day or within the next couple of years, but it was just stuff that kind of showed a glimpse into the future, and one of these was Project Valerie. Now, Project Valerie is a gaming laptop, but this is not any kind of ordinary gaming laptop. It is decked out with three 17.3 inch 4K panels, bringing the total resolution of the machine to 11,520 by 2160, as compared to, say, a standard screen that normally has 1920 by 1080. That is a shit ton of pixels. Now, making all this work is a GTX 1080 GPU, which, of course, is necessary whenever you're running triple 4K monitors off of a laptop. This is not anything that anyone thought was possible, yet here we are looking at it and playing with it, and apparently someone took two of them. Maybe this is just a testimony to the guys that made a triple monitor 4K laptop so thin and maneuverable, uh, but two of them were pretty much swiped up from the show floor, and apparently the CEO thinks it might be industrial espionage. In the same way that Slugworth was stealing Willy Wonka's candy recipes, apparently the Razer CEO believes that someone came in from another tech company and took their two models to try and work on something similar, and he said on a Facebook post that our teams worked months on end to conceptualize and develop these units. It is cheating, and cheating does doesn't sit well with us, anyone who would do this clearly isn't very smart. On top of that, Razer is so adamant about actually finding these laptops that they're offering a reward that's probably just about enough to purchase a Project Valerie, which of course is $25,000. If you know who took these laptops, you could make 25 Gs off of just telling Razer where they are. Everyone loves a good story, and I know that I'm always going to remember in 2017 when I heard that Razer had some kind of industrial espionage going on at CES 2017. That's just a story that is fun to tell. However, when it comes down to it, a project development team worked hours upon hours to squeeze three 4K monitors into a laptop, and that is Razer's own work. Industrial espionage is something that is really seedy, it's really shitty, and especially in this case, just work on it yourself, because as the CEO said, you clearly aren't very smart if you can't figure out how to do this for yourself after just looking at it on the show floor. I'll be the first to admit that I'm no kind of computer engineer. I'm just not good at that kind of thing. However, I will say that I know it took a lot to get this laptop up and running because driving three 4K monitors off of a laptop is a... I, I, it still blows my mind just to think about it. But I will say this, in the world of YouTube especially, I have learned that whenever you base your own work off of what someone else has done, there creates a lack of innovation. You don't exactly know what you're doing with yourself whenever you aren't doing anything creative. And so these other tech companies could have come in and seen Razer's product and thought, hey, I can improve on that in this way. I can make that run better in this way. You have to look at this as an inspiration for what you can do, not just go and steal someone else's stuff and then put your name on it as a different kind of computer. That's not how the game works. But what exactly do you think? Is industrial espionage simply part of the industry, or do you think it's some pretty shitty stuff? Because personally, I think it's some pretty shitty stuff. And on top of that, uh, would you actually buy a Project Valerie if it ever does come out? Because it is going to have quite a hefty price tag, but it would probably be worth it. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be worth it for gaming, because I would rather be at home gaming. I just couldn't see myself sitting in the library on this thing playing Battlefield. Uh, but I will say, for productivity, it looks to be pretty dang good, if, especially if you're editing video, you want to pull up some files on another computer, uh, maybe you have a video outlet going to the other monitor, there's a lot of different options here, but it is some pretty cool stuff, but as for right now, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video, and if you know where that computer is, don't forget you can get 25 grand, or you can just keep Project Valerie and never tell any other living soul that you have it, I'll talk to you soon, peace.